Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Welcome to the Sean News Show, friends. Great to be with you today. We have an amazing show, friends. In this episode, we're going to go right back at Bobby Lee. I'm on a crusade to take him down. I make no mistakes about that. I don't care how old this video is. It's very, very disturbing. And I saw it, and I thought, nothing has changed. He's just as creepy as he's ever been. Now he's just creeping on guys more. Bobby Lee from Mad TV of the Bad Friends podcast with Andrew Cheeto Santino with a horrible genetic defect. We're trying to root that out of the gene pool because it's, it's going to really end up hurting a lot of people and giving them a severe disadvantage with regards to their looks. And we don't want that. We also have a big problem with the uh, Tiger Belly podcast with Kalila Kuhn. Look, Kalila is very beautiful. She's half Filipino like myself, but she's a total sicko because she was with Bobby Lee. And when you when I show you this, friends... And not only this, when I show you this, you're going to be in filled with rage. And when I read you the comments, you're going to be ready to go out and start a revolution. Because really, it is a shocking thing that this guy still has a platform, is still being upheld by the YouTube algorithm, considering all the bad things he's done. And, and he's unapologetic. I mean, this is his shtick. This is literally what he does all the time. He's a creepy guy, and because he's a little Korean guy, it's okay. He's a little pot-bellied pig, so it's like, oh, it's okay if you molest women. It's okay if you me too. It's okay if you act gay. It's okay if you do all these things. Here at Sean News, we're saying it's not okay. We have a big problem with it. That wasn't the right. That wasn't very good. Here at Sean News, we have a major problem that we think you should be. Because over here, we're actually in the new way. Wave and we say get the sickos and the pervs and the groomers and the sickos out of our culture. We're sick of them. Bobby Lee, you're prime on this list. So, friends, we're going to bring you this episode. I think you're going to like it. I think you might want to subscribe. I think you might want to like it. I think you might want to sign for my Patreon. I have a Patreon. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sean News is killing the game. We're taking down Bobby Lee. I make no mistakes about that. I want to see him take it down. I don't care if it drives him into depression. He needs to come to Jesus. And the only way to take him to Jesus is to take him down. We got to let him know it's not okay. You can't be treating people like this. I want to see him with tears in his eyes, crying for what he did to this poor lady. Friends, I'm going to show you this. And if you think I'm being a little uptight, and you think that I'm just, oh, Sean, you know, you this is comedy, then you're a sicko too. We got to take a stand in this culture against these kind of people. I Like I said, I want to see Bobby Lee in tears asking for forgiveness for all the people he's done this to. Because if he's doing this on TV in front of all these people, imagine what he's doing behind the scenes. Imagine the sick things that he's traumatized people with, not including that lady in Tijuana that was the Natalie Portman in the uh, passenger, whatever the heck the name of that, the, the, whatever, the, the passenger, is that what it's called? Natalie Portman in the, I don't know what the name is, whatever, who cares? Natalie Portman in the, okay, this is going to bother me. I got to look this up, friends. In the professional, yeah, Natalie Portman in the professional. He said that he sought out a 14-year-old looking girl, and he did unspeakable acts. He told everybody that was his interesting story. That's how he got cheap laughs. And then when people said, hey, that's really sick. You're kind of a P3DO. What's going on? He goes, oh, I'm just being a comedian, and Kalila was supporting him. Kalila's a sick, sick person. Make no mistakes about it. I don't care how hot she is. Like I said before, I probably <laughs> I probably would have done some unspeakable acts and I probably would have taken down an entire village in the Philippines to have a chance with her. Now I think she's a sick, disgusting mess. She's doing weird things to dogs. She's sleeping with Bobby Lee. She's gross. I'm going to show you this. It was around Christmas time celebrating the birthday of our dear Lord Jesus Christ. Bobby Lee goes on this show with Shally Zamarodi, friends. And what we're about to watch is literally assault. What we're about to watch is literally worse than anything Harvey Weinstein has ever done. And it's filmed for everybody to see. And guess what? Everyone sat back and laughed and cracked jokes because he's a little Asian guy. It's okay. No, it's not okay. You're a sicko. I want to see him in tears. I want to see him repent. And I want to see him canceled. That's right. He may be depressed for a while. He may suffer for a while. He may fall off the wagon. Look, I don't pray for any of these things, these things to happen. But he needs to repent. He needs to say, this is not okay. He needs to go away for a while and re retool his entire act. Because if your entire act is being a sicko and a perv and a weirdo 
then get the heck out of here. We don't need to see it. It's not funny. And the people that are into this, you're sickos too. We got we to start calling the cops on you too. That's right. We're going to be taking a look at anybody in the comments who defends Bobby Lee. We're going to be sending the cops out. We're going to be letting them know. We got a long, long list of pervs and pedos and groomers coming to you. Not, we're not talking about the Democrats. We're talking about Bobby Lee fans. So, friends, we're going to jump on into this. Watch this. It's sick. God, it's so cold. <laughs> Shali's scared. <laughs> Shali's a I little usually, scared. I usually enjoy sitting next to a guest. Because yeah, why I, won't you sit next to me? It's rude. <laughs> it's not rude. I requested it. I called my agent. I want to let's next, sit next to you. Come on, good to see you. Because you were on paternity leave last time, right? It's good to see you. Look at her face. Look at her face. Oh, Sean, they're just having... No, no, you, you guys need to learn how to read body language. I know, I know that Sean News friends are with me. This is not body language of, oh, I'm having fun. I'm just playing along. This is someone who's legitimately creeped out. You could have a, you know, a cobra or some disgusting animal, and she'd be acting the same way. She doesn't find this funny. She's taking one for the team so we can have an interesting viral clip. But this is no different than what any scumbag in, in Hollywood is doing. Oh, look at me. I'm so cute. Yeah, I'm going to molest you. Ha, 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 ha. She's a married woman. Ha, 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 She has a family of four or something like that. Four kids. Ha, 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 ha. Bobby Lee gets off on defiling people. We're going to do another video on what happened with George Janko. George Janko is a, a brother in Christ. He's, he's kind of cringe in my opinion. He totally sucks in my opinion. They all suck. But he, people don't talk about what Bobby Lee was doing to him early on. Bobby Lee gets off on humiliating people under the guise of comedy. And then when you get grossed out by it, then you're the one that has the problem. This is how Satan works, don't you see? Go along with it. Don't stand up and say this is sick. Don't call out evil when you see it. Sit back and laugh and have a good time. You'll try to figure it out. You'll talk to your therapist about it later. Right now, we're trying to make a viral clip. Let me let this play. Watch her body language. <laughs> oh, I love it. I lived in oh Europe for a while. He loves it. See what I'm saying? He loves it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yes, he does. This is what he does. He wants to make them uncomfortable. And then when they react, see this cut guy in the middle, he's not going to do anything. <laughs> I know she's creeped out and I know this is going to be really bad. And we're going to have a, we're going to have an HR meeting afterwards about not bringing Bobby Lee on, but it's okay. We just need to play into the comedy. He's on TV guys. We need to play into it. We got to be the butt of the joke. We got to let him get his cookies while we sit here and watch. Everyone's creeped out. That's the thing I'm watching for. If this was funny and all cool, they'd be a little bit more chill. Everyone is freaked out and uncomfortable. Don't tell me this is comedy. Fine, do your comedy. You don't need to touch anybody. If he stayed in that chair, it'd be different. He doesn't. He has to go over. He has to touch her. He has to kiss her. He has to do these things. Watch this. Oh, that's, how that's, how yeah, that's how we can. That's how we can. That's how we can. Did he lick you? Fine. Face uh, is I don't wet. have the bird flu. What is <laughs> cracking? Is it us? I have SARS. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Bobby Lee is in the house. Uh, hey, hi. How are you? Good. Sandy, Good. You look at her. Do you see how she looks back? Look at this. This is a look to her producer team saying, come on, guys, really? Are you guys going to say, you're not going to do anything? You're not going to tell them behind the scenes, hey, Bobby, t tamp it down? No. She's like, anyone going to rescue me? Oh, no, no. You're on your own, Shally Zamorati. Bobby Lee gets to have his cookies today. Bring the milk, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, God, that's uh, Bobby that Lee is in the house. Uh, hey, hi. How are you? Good. Do you guys Nandy color Nandy? coordinate? Like, I'm going to wear the jacket and I'm going to wear the socks. He's touching the guy, no, too. but it looks good. You guys called each other last night, right? Uh -huh. No, but my face is still wet. I feel you. Did he on lick my you? Face. What no, happened? It's his, fine. His there's there, a look, wet kiss? There, there's like little pecks, and then there's a kiss where you latch on and yeah. it gets a little wet. That's that kind of kiss. I'm marking you. <laughs> You're mine now forever. That's I how always, I mark. I always feel like when Bobby's here, it's like, what is the point of this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what is it? What's on here? What's on here? Can I ask for that? Yes. Ask me questions. Okay, let's skip a little bit ahead. Watch this. Are you wearing socks? No, I don't ever wear socks. Why? I have foot fungus. Excuse me? I have foot fungus. <sighs> okay. Yeah, on my left foot I have athlete's foot and it's so bad that I need to wear um, shoes that air it out. <laughs> I like the smile after he's that. Look at this dumb guy right here. These, these freaking hosts are so lame. <laughs> I like, that's really funny, right? That's really good. You have foot fungus, you don't take care of yourself. Kalila Kuhn's going down on that, by the way. Keep that in your mind if you think she's hot. Kalila Kuhn, you're, I don't know what's worse. J jacking off a, you know, g what is it? A, a, a German shepherd or whatever she was up to or sleeping with Bobby Lee, literally a, 
a, a pot belly pig with foot fungus. And this is the thing. And he's kind of like Jim Gaffigan. These sick co comedians, these pervs, they get off on being gross. They want to defile you. They're not trying to be attractive. They get off on defiling whatever the heck is next to them. Beauty, goodness, truth, God. They want to wipe their butt on it. They want to defile it. They want to mix their fluids in it. And it's not funny. That's my thing. It's not funny to watch S.A. Sexual A say out. See, I got I don't know. We gotta use these code words. Why does YouTube YouTube, why are you okay with literally having corn on your plot platform? But if I describe it, then I'm the guy who gets demonetized and all this trouble. Because I really need the money. I need the shekels. Give me the damn money. I want all the money in the world. Come on, YouTube. I want to monetize my content. I don't give a damn about your money. Screw your money. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah. What did growing you, up in Maui do to you? You've never man? had athlete's foot? No. Oh, would you run and no? Yes, okay. but I keep my feet clean. I'm a little and, dirty, that's all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Look at this. You thought you'd get away by sitting... Uh, Look at the body language. Look at this guy. I'm not going to save you. I, I, I'm trying to move up in Hollywood, too. Come on. And you know who runs Hollywood? The purse pedos and the groomers. This, the pedos. Can't mess, make them angry. Got to keep them happy. I can't, I can't stop Bobby Lee. They'll think I'm actually fighting for Christ and doing something good in the world. No, can't have that. Yes, okay. but I keep my feet clean. I'm a little and, dirty, that's all. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Look, yeah. How he <laughs> Look at this. Look at this guy. Mr. W Where's Waldo guy. Then you got Bobby Lee's with his butt hanging out. What a sicko. This, is, this guy should be, literally, these are the people that should be shamed in society. No, no, not in Satan's society. We uplift them. We say, here, Bobby Lee. What do you want, a podcast? Here, you want a hot girlfriend? Here, what do you want? What do you want? What do you, want? you want to have a, a podcast with some guy with a severe genetic defect that makes his skin really pale and gives him some bright neon orange hair that burns your eyes and your retina and hurts your, gives you permanent eye damage? Sure, we'll give you that. Anything you want. Want to go on a tour where you only do gay things and people think you're funny for it? We'll give you that. Satan will give you just about everything if you turn against him. Look at what they do. <laughs> Look at how uncomfortable she is. Anywhere else, you'd be calling the cops. Anywhere else. Anywhere else. You'd say, get over here. We have a perv. Yeah, he looks like Bobby Lee, little Asian guy, pop belly pig. Yeah, go ahead and bring your gun. We need to take him out. Not here, no, no, no. You must love this. Bobby Lee's a legend, as they say. He's a legend. We can't rattle the cage and tell the truth about Bobby Lee and what he's into. He's just a good man cracking jokes, can't you see? Let me feel up on you. Let me kiss you. Let me. Where can I put my tongue on your body, says Bobby Lee. Oh <laughs> you thought you could get God. away by sitting oh, over there? I love this morning. See the difference? So you have a lady over here that's creeped out, that is traumatized. You have a cuck in the middle not doing a damn thing. You have Bobby Lee who literally just looks like he had an organism. Interesting juxtaposition, right? This is, this is literally R-A-P-E, if you ask me. Honestly. In a just society, he would be, he would be you know, dealt with appropriately. I can't say because YouTube will think that I'm you know, encouraging violence. So in a good society, he would be brought before justice and things would be done to him. Not in our society, not in Satan's society. He shows my favorite. <laughs> is it? Oh. It really is. I love you. I like, whenever I see you, oh language. yeah, I remember that guy. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. so sweet. I like that guy. He's like, you, you're kind of like. Oh, and the go ahead movie. a little bit Funny more. Kid movies, do you yeah. remember? Oh yeah, I remember you. What is your problem right now? Why are you <laughs> looking at me like that? Like we're at the zoo and I'm like in a cage. I'm your friend. She can't even look at him. She can't even look at him. Even the guy in the middle, the cut guy, he knows. This is inappropriate. This is, everyone knows it, but if we keep laughing, it's okay. <laughs> He's the creepy guy at the party. You're going to see his abusive side. Get out. We're having super chats. Say, Sean, if you just play the damn clip, we might be able to see this for ourselves. Yeah, you're going to see this in a second. This is how an abusive perv works. He, put, he goes too far. When you kind of get creeped out, he starts insulting you. Well, I'm never going to come back on this show. I'm never going to do this again. Why are you like this? You're ruining everything. You're ruining the energy. Come on, have fun. Okay? <laughs> the last time I was here, I asked for you, and you were gone. She was pregnant. I know, and I'm pregnant with our baby! Oh! <laughs> yeah, has to, he has to sicken. He has to gross everybody out. I have athlete's foot. Want to smell my feet? Check out my belly button. I haven't cleaned in years. Kalila Kuhn likes to stick her tongue on there. Sometimes we put jizz down there and we pretend like we're making a baby. And that's what his thoughts probably are. I don't know where that came from. I apologize, everyone. 
I apologize. I apologize. See, now he's now he's rubbing the guy. Now he's rubbing the guy. See how it is? This is this is literally how a creepy, abusive person works. In humor. Ha, 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 ha. Everybody's having fun. Everyone loves it. See, now I'm rubbing the guy. See, I'm not going after the girl. I'm rubbing the guy. Maybe I'm gay. Maybe I'm gay. See, if it, it's okay if I, if I mess with the girl if I'm gay. See, see, see. Everyone fooled now? Okay, back to the girl. Yes. Anyway, I want to, I like to plug some things. <laughs> look at this. I'm, it's fine. Just look at me right now, all right? We're on a TV show right now. Um, oh I'm at the American Comedy Company. I'm at the American Comedy Company. Now look what he, now all he goes weekend. back to the girl. Okay? Here we go. And I know you're going to be there. And number two, I like to promote my podcast. It's called Tiger Belly. And number three, I mean a show called Love that Judd Apatow produces. It's on Love Netflix. Judd. And I play a guy named... Judd Apatow is a sicko as well. Guarantee Truman, you that. And we, we did the second season, so it's going to be great. Uh, uh. Mm. He's, he's, guy's kissing the guy's shoe, his ankle, whatever. He's a, a complete sicko. On what planet is this funny? Oh, I know. On a planet run by Satan with a bunch of pervs and pedos and groomers in the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see, friends. I show you the comments. You'll be enraged. Oh, it's going to be great. This is funny. Sean, you could never be as good as Bobby Lee. Everything's fine. <laughs> I've never we're had good, anybody kiss my ankle bone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's my first ankle bone It's the kiss. one spot that you never think to kiss, that. but you should, right? Because it's, it's like, a part of your body and you have nerves yeah. there. Yeah, you don't feel know. good. You want me to do it again? Hey. What about what, 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 She's running what, away. Where are you going? She's running away. Do not away. kiss my ankle, oh, right. okay, my okay. ankle my bone. My <laughs> Does that seem like somebody who thinks there's just a joke? She's not, this isn't a joke to her. She's legitimately freaked out. This is like bringing a rattlesnake. Ah, oh, you want to play with a rattlesnake? They run away. They don't think this is funny. She's traumatized. Then a later I'll go, oh, I hope, you know, I love you. I love your show. And she'll just be like, oh, okay. And then she'll say, all right, next time he comes on the show, can we like not do that again? That's exactly what happened. Our sources told us. <laughs> Sorry, come back. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, everybody. Everything's fine. Come back. I won't assault you anymore. No, I don't trust guys, look you. At Why? His because I can see you. Hear that? Come, on. come back. I won't assault you anymore. No, I don't trust you. Why? Because I can see you <laughs> jumping on me. A mile away, and I see you too. <laughs> I see. She can spot a perv from a mile away. See, Shally Zamarodi has discernment. She can see a perv when she sees it. Everybody should be able to see this. This is what this is the problem with a fallen society. People don't have discernment. This is the big problem. This is what Sean News is for, really. Sean News has perfect discernment. I see a perv. I see a pedo. I see a groomer. I can spot him from a mile away. I say, watch out for that guy. He's a problem. Watch out. What do you mean, Sean? He's just a comedian. He just wanted to feel my girlfriend and kiss my ankle. There's nothing wrong with that. He, I sense the energy. I see it. I see his little games and his little schemes. Oh, I'm a comedian, so it's okay. Oh, I'm a little Asian guy. I'm not really trying to hook up. You're a beautiful woman. I'm a little pervy guy. There, no one would ever want me. Take pity on me. I have athlete's foot and a fat belly. See, I'm innocent. Now let me touch your body. Let me do this. Let me do that. If a guy like me tried to act like this, seriously, there would be callers at home calling the cops on me for doing this. And rightfully so. Rightfully so, even though she'd like it if I was doing this to her. But you got to be able to pick up on... On body language, you got to be able to read nonverbal communication. And this is very uncomfortable. I've been in situations like this where there's a really creepy guy who's aggressive and maybe he's a little rich or it's his house or there's some reason why we kind of got to play along. And he's getting a little bit creepy, but we're all kind of looking like, all right, well, maybe he'll just stop right there. Oh, no, he's going further than that. Okay, well, maybe it's just like, oh, God, he's going even further than that. All right, baby, you want to come over to the balcony and pretend to smoke a cigarette? Okay, great party. I think we got to get going. No one wants to call him out because they're in his house or he's providing the, <laughs> the party favors or whatever. Everyone's been around this situation. Bobby Lee thrives in this. He's like a little... A disgusting type of bacterium that thrives on uncomfortable energy. You too. We have dogs. You have a dog. I have a dog. <laughs> you want to have a dog, Gobi, and he's in the hotel room right now. Gobi, do you have a picture we of Gobi? You want to see Gobi? <laughs> yeah, do you kiss me? Do you kiss me? Was that Watch Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving, I mean, let's go to the dog. That's so cute. I have three cats also. You have three cats and a dog. Yeah, and I want to talk to you about my cats. Come here right now. You're being so rude right now. You're being so rude right now. Come back to the seat. Come back to the seat. Come back to the seat. You're being so rude right now. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I apologize. My bad. I'm sorry. If you get up again, I swear to God, I'm never going to come back here, okay? See? Anyway, um, I have three cats. And I She's looking at the producers. Ah, you know what? Screw it, friends. I'm going to do it. I I'm tired of this. Yeah, seven years ago, Bobby Lee was on this San Diego Fox 5, and they literally let everyone, I want everybody there arrested, I want the co-host Pervy Night next to her, and I want her to be given all of Bobby Lee's money, and I want some of it to go to me and the Shaw News friends. That's all I'm asking. Thank you very much.
He said, yeah, the statute of limitations is up. Lucky for Bobby Lee. The dog and, um, God, those ankles are so appetizing. Here we go. <laughs> That's got really I just want to. Here we go. <laughs> This is the weirdest Can you one I've ever done. We have room in, in our. Yeah. It's called the Lexi oh, yeah, yeah, for a reason. Oh, and then it's called the Lexi. The per and then the pervy cuck in the middle. We have room over here. Want to really creep her out? Now I can move up in Hollywood, said this guy. Hope it worked out for you selling your soul like that guy. You're supposed to look out for the women and the children, not defile them and feed them to the enemies. What a sick. This guy's a demon. He claimed to be a Christian. See, he wants to use that Christian as a tool. Oh yeah, I, mean, I, had, I had a drug abuse. I was a bit depressed, and I was addicted to drugs, and I found God. And blah blah. Oh, who's God? Who's God? Who's God? Just God. I'm not gonna tell you his name. Satan. That's who you found. And he said, Bobby Lee, double down on the pr depravity. Go even deeper. Make him more uncomfortable. Then you'll please your daddy. Just stay away from that. I mean, really, friends. I want him to come to Jesus. I want to pray for him. But until then, I want him to go down, and I want him to go down hard. And I'm not hiding it. If I'm the only, if if me and the Shaw News friends, and we're the only ones out there saying, "Get rid of this guy. Get rid of this guy. He's a PDDO. He's a groomer. He's a sicko. He's abusing women in front of people, and, and he's abusing men, and he's acting gay." He's doing everything possible to defile our society. He's spreading his disgusting athlete's foot, and Kalila Kuhn is going down on him. And that really pisses me off. That's right. I can't stand yeah. it. I've yeah, never we, done. Have, we have room. In, in our, yeah. It's called the Luxy oh, yeah, for yeah, a reason. It's, it's called the Luxy for a reason, Bobby. She's like, hey, now. She's not Luxy for a reason. It's called the Luxy for a reason, Bobby. She was not happy that he did that. She did not like it. She's like, why did you do that, man? Now he's just going to get more feels up. Dumb idiot. I got her sides. Shelly, I'm looking out for you. I would have knocked him out by then. I would have knocked him out. I would said, you know, I would have called up the cops said, yep, I took him out. I did a good oh, service yeah. to society. Yep, I took him out. Room Look at this. Our, yeah. It's called the Luxie oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah, a reason. Like right there, you can see her reaction. She's like, come on, dude. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Did, de did a demon get inside of you, dude? Why, do why would you think that'd be a good idea to do when you see how freaked out she is? The weirdest morning show say, I've yeah, ever we done. Have, we have room in, in our... Yeah. It's called the Luxy oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah, a reason. It's, it's, it's called the Luxy for Christmas. a reason, listen, Bobby. Listen, hey, listen, now. listen, guys. Yes. Whenever I play San Diego only to do this show. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right? And then when I come here and you run away, it hurts my feelings. That's why I stayed. Okay. Is this interview over? Why? Oh. Why would you say so? Oh, then they cut away. Then they cut away. Is this interview? Oh, why are you ruining the moment, Shally? What are you don't like this? The assault that we's doing? You don't like that the, the, the cucky guy in the middle is playing along with it? What's wrong, Shally? You don't like having fun, Shally? What's the problem? Have a little bit of fun, Shally. Why why are you why are you ruining the party? We're just having a good time. You're ruining the whole party for San Diego. Why would you do such a thing? It's my feelings. That's why I Look at this. It. Okay. Is this interview over? Why? Oh. Why would you say something like that? Oh, he says it's <laughs> all <laughs> Do you say it? We this laugh. To the show? We laugh together. You say it to together. the show at 1053. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like those guys, but I love those guys yeah. a lot too. Okay. So um my podcast is called Tiger Belly and Tiger uh, Belly. And come to She's see my show. Guard. It's going to be amazing, it. okay? Bobby Lee on yeah. stage tonight, tomorrow yeah. at the American. That is not good body. And I'm, I'm sorry. This is the kind of stuff where, I, where, where a good man would have done something by now. A good man would have said, Bobby, no, enough. Stop it already. Stop it, dude. It's not funny. It's not funny. Make jokes. Why don't you write a joke down? Being super creepy is not a shtick. It's not funny. It's like, it's like thinking it's funny to go up. It's, I mean, literally, it's like thinking it's funny to go up some punch him in the face. How is that any different? Ha, 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 ha. This is why I hate pranksters. This is not funny. Now, with that Matan Evanoff guy, name 10 books, he comes up and he's acting super random. There's actually some humor to acting random and kind of silly, you know, giving weird answers. What's that guy's name? Not Andy Warhol. Uh, uh, Andy, I forgot his name. He would, he would keep this shtick going. What the hell was that guy's name? And, it's not Andy Warhol. That's the artist, right? Say in the comments, gosh, friends, I can't remember the guy's name. But he, he, would, he would stick to his whatever the shtick was, and he would play it. I, I respect that. This is not a shtick. This is just being a complete creep and a perv because you're a little Asian guy. You think you can get away with it. American Comedy Company, that's in the gas lamp corner. I got my ankle bone kissed by Bobby Lee. Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking know. at me? Why are you staring at me? Chrissy, Chrissy. <laughs> why are you staring this at me? Is, this Chrissy. is comedy. Oh my gosh. That was a cry for help. Chrissy, Chrissy. <laughs> why are you staring at me? Chrissy!
That's a cry for help. She's not, she's not joking. Just because she has, and this guy's giggling. He, he's a sicko and a perv as well. He's, he says he's married. I think he's into some sick stuff as well. These are all sickos. She, this is a cry for help. Oh, you want to lose your job on San Diego News, Fox 5? You better play along and shut up. You better act like you like it, Shelly. Look at that. Bobby Lee. Oh my undeterred. gosh. In all the years that I've done interviews. You smell pure. <laughs> you smell so pure, guys. Keeps going. My Lord. That's the magic oh of that my perfume, huh? Lord, it's <laughs> delicious. It's great. Oh Look how freaked out she is. Now she runs away. <laughs> Time now for your Oh, nobody's got a problem. Yep. Sean, you don't get it. This is grade A comedy, Sean. Sean it's news of the Sean News Friends. Sit down, guys. She loved it. This was the best day of her life. She couldn't get she wished it needed more. Let's read these comments, friends. Oh, you're gonna be disgusted, you're gonna be angry, but just keep it together best you can. The stat look, Bobby is a certified national treasure. Oh, really? Brendan Vin Vingus. Really? Hmm. Let's check his hard drive. Let's see what he's up to. Can you imagine trying not to just laugh uncontrollably during this? Yeah, I can. I would call the cops. You're sick. You need to be arrested. Bobby can never be canceled because people assume his life is horrible enough. I don't know. Why, why, why should that matter? I don't care if you're a little midget guy with, you know, you know deformed limbs. You shouldn't be around uh, creeping people out like that. This guy was such a sport. No, he was a cuck and he was encouraging and he should be arrested as well. He's, he's a, um, I don't know, what it? he's a, a, what do you call a sailor? What do you call it when you're helping out someone committing a crime? I don't know why my brain, I'm getting that Joe Biden syndrome. You smell pure had me dying. Yeah, because you're a sicko as well. Listen to this guy, Aaron P1174. We got to check and see if he's on that list. First of all, Bobby is a freaking legend. Second, you can't play into this. She fell right into it. LOL. Bobby feeds off making you uncomfortable. Thirdly, how hasn't Bobby been me too yet? Yeah, that's true, but he's not a legend. This isn't legendary. Ed's 1050 cent. Bobby is ruthless and hilarious. LMAO. He takes full reins of the inner and does what he wants and defiles women and blah, blah, blah. I'm a sicko. I don't have a problem with it. This man is literally in love with Bobby Lake. Yeah, because he's also a sicko. I, I sense very, I, I mean, between you and I, I mean, I think the guy's probably gay on top of it. I can see his, he gets off on that. A lot of, oh, I got to watch how I say this. A lot of people that kind of live this secret life where they pretend to be straight and are down low gay, kind of like Bobby Lee and Andrew Santino and pretty much every podcaster on the internet, they are really into sick stuff on the low, really into it. They can't show you that. They show you this patina of good and funny and comedian and all that. On the down low and on their hard drive, they're into some of the sickest things you could possibly imagine. Bob, Puppy Puppington, Bobby is freaking everything, man. See what I'm saying? Satan's system thinks this is great. They love it. You read my comments. You're a, he's a comedian. You're jealous. Blah, blah, blah. I'm jealous of Bobby Lee. People think that. Bobby is a fucking legend. I love it. Look at this guy. Seriously. Oh, you know what? I'm calling it. Yep. I'm doing it. I'm sorry, friends. We got a guy called M Chan 2141. He goes, I love her screams. It's hilarious. You might want to pick him up. I don't know what you guys have been doing over there. You guys have a horrible homeless problem in San Diego. Might want to do something for a change. Why are, her reaction made this funny? No, her reaction was complete disgust. And you should be traumatized having watched this because you literally just saw a crime take place. He's legit attacking her. I love Bobby. You wish he did, still did these guys. Look at these sick sickos. These are sick people. These are all incredibly sick people. Not one decent person in the comments saying Bobby Lee is a sicko. Oh, wait, Sean News, that's the top. Bobby Lee is a complete sicko, and all the comments, all of you in the comments are disgusting, and I'm going to be reporting every single one of them. Damn right. Damn right, friends. We'll be waiting at the jail for when they get arrested. We'll be hitting, doing that hard-hitting reporting. We're going to throw a party when we see Bobby Lee locked up. We want to see him go down hard. There, I said it. There, I said it. I want to see Bobby Lee be a born-again Christian. Anything short of that, I want to see him in the gutter trying to figure his life out. I'm not kidding, friends. I, I'm not kidding. Bobby is so fucking great, man. All jokes. This made me laugh so hard. How could, I mean, these, these people are disgusting. Um, a great comedian, but maybe the funniest person in history. Thanks again, Bobby, for the millionth laugh. In fact, the least I always support. I mean, look at this. Ha, 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 Bob. All I can say. See this? See this? And you wonder why, you know, the kids, no one's watching out for the kids. No one cares about, you know, Biden trafficking kids over the border and all the things that the Hollywood pervs are up to. 
Nobody's looking out for the kids. No one's looking out for the women. Even the women aren't looking out for the women. These are the same people that would say Sean News is a jealous guy and I'm not, I'm not up on the level of these world-class comedians. I could be a bet. Honestly, if I wanted to be creepy, I'd be better than all of them. It's the easiest thing ever. I just, why, why would I ever want to do that? It's the easiest thing ever. Touch people inappropriately and act gay. Think of everything God would want you to do and do the exact opposite. It's very easy to do. I just can't bring myself to do it because I want to go to heaven and not burn in hell. Um, damn, Bobby, Bobby's effect on women is pretty fascinating. He really takes them on a roller coaster. She didn't like one part of that roller coaster. Not one part of it. Yeah, that, yo, how did Bobby get away with this behavior? I love him. Well, that's because he, that's how he got away with it. There's a bunch of people like you that think it's funny and cool that she did that. So I have a big, I love Bobby Lee, love this guy, blah, blah, blah. See what I'm saying? So when you're a sick perv who literally assaults a woman in front of a, you know, on a show with everybody watching, no problem. It's all good. Andrew Santino even says, where is it? Oh. Wow. 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 But over here at Sean News, I'll tell you right now. Bobby Lee. You should have gotten this video scrubbed off the internet. I'm going to find every single instance. The Sean News interns are working nonstop, 24-7, without bre breaks or rest or air conditioning or any of the, the things a human needs to survive. They're working round the clock with absolutely no pay or even a hope of getting their name on a, on a resume or any sort of attachment to Sean News. They're doing this out of the goodness of their, of whatever. I don't even know. I don't even know why they're doing it, quite frankly. We're not going to stop until you're taken down. We want to see you fall hard. I'm not kidding, friends. I'm not kidding. They say pray for enemies. Yeah, I'll pray for them. I want you to come to Jesus, but I want you to fall hard, Bobby. Just know that. We're not friends. I see you in Hollywood. I'm going to go up to you. I'm going to call you a sicko to your face. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, perv? Send the pedos on me? No problem. Bring them on over. I can, you know, maybe we should do that. Sean News Field trip. Maybe we go find Bobby Lee. He needs to be called out. Maybe we need to go up and say, Bobby, what happened in TJ? Don't think that just went away just because you came out and said it was a comedy act. We know what you're about, Bobby, and we haven't even started digging around and trying to get in your hard drive. Wait till that comes out. It's going to be bad. Dude. So, friends, let me go ahead and just end this episode because I'm getting more angry the more I talk about it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it burns a little bit inside. I really do. I hope you understand the, the mission and the vision of Sean News. This isn't me just making ha ha ho ho, you know, YouTube videos for cheap laughs. We have a greater calling. Somebody needs to speak truth into the void. Somebody needs to be speaking truth and protecting the women and the children. It's got to be us. No one else is going to do it. The perv and the guy in the middle is not going to do it. He's going he's gonna to push her in the middle. He's going to push him in the middle and make her more uncomfortable. Who's looking out for the women? Who's looking out for the children? Who's protecting them from Bobby Lee? Nobody. We have to do it. We have to step up, friends. I know we'd be rather doing other things. We'd rather be on jet skis. We'd rather, we'd rather be doing, you know, you know, practicing tricks on our unicycle and cool things like that. We'd rather be playing PlayStation 2. <laughs> but we got to fight the battles out there. We got to win the spiritual battle over people's minds because you can see what happens. There's a spiritual war going on. The battlefield is in our minds. They want us to believe the enemy's lies and we're to reject the truth of God and of Jesus. And Bobby Lee is pulling them into that. He's getting them to think it's funny to abuse women, to defile them, to traumatize them in the, in the name of comedy. And oh man, I can't think of a bigger crime than that, friends. We're going to get them locked up. We're going to get them locked up. And here's the thing, Bobby Lee. We want you to come to Jesus. We want you to fall hard, super hard. We want you to lose everything. We want you to lose your mind and lose your soul so that you'll find Jesus because that's the only way out of this mess. If you think you're going to keep doing comedy like this and we're all going to stand here and think you're ha, 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 funny, 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 not on our watch. There's a new sheriff in town and we're taking you down.